Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio MVP and DevOps Practice Lead. In this video, we are going to see how to build and deploy uh, a VSTS extension uh, and how to using the build the VNext to build the extension and deploy to different environments using release management. So I'm going to build different um, environment and then using release management to promote the build to a different environment using approval process so let's see that so let's talk about how we are going to develop that in a continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline so as we can see all what i just need to do that in a continuous integration i just create a repo and pushed my code to this repo once I have that, I start going to the build. And I start to create a build definition. And in this build definition, let me edit. I start to, to package the extension and publish the artifact. And this task is not available by default. I needed to install this um, extension which is has all these tasks which is package publish share all of that so once I create that I start adding this task which is belong to this extension which is package the extension as we can see here this is just displaying name and here I just select where is my code? Here is the name of my manifest file, which is existing on the source control. Here I just naming the the package name. It's good to have name so every time you just override that instead of creating a new file with a new version, you can leave it. If if we leave it, it will be created exactly as at this one with the name of the account and then the name of the extension with the version this is a default name but here I override that um, and then here is the build number which is I put it here to override that so it is zero point or dot dollar sign build dot build number dot zero so let me share that with you in a word pad So we have zero dot dollar sign build build number dot zero and build number will be changing every time this is and here this is the the type I override the build number still private I can of course it changing that the manifest file from here once I have that I start publishing the artifacts here I choose to be this is the name and here the post to, to publish the extension and here's the name and I choose here to be a TFS of course we have a file share if I wanted to put it on a network share but here I will publish that to the TFS so the release management can pick up this file so once I have that now the build then I can also trigger with that this trigger I can enable continuous integration so once I committed the code with the master this will trigger the build automatically and the deployment will happen automatically so I can do that let's see uh, the extension here let me open the extension on three environment so if I went here for this one So as we can see it's still the same working in the same way I put here just a number to so all of them is build 11 as we can see so what I'm going to do is just changing that text to be build 12 
and commit this change and we can see the pipeline but before that let, let me explain to you configuring the pipeline for the cd continuous delivery we understand now how to configure the the build let's understand the release management okay so all all i just need to do is just to go open release management and just create a new release definition here this is the release definition so let me go for that and edit this release definition which is our release so it's very it's very easy just this is artifacts and from here i just picked um this is the source the project and here i pick the latest and as we can see this mean that it will just get the latest build uh, so here just to pick the artifact so this is step it just to pick the artifact and here how I configure to pick the latest from where I publish the artifacts okay so now once I have that I start creating three environment QA pre, close this QA pre-production and production and with each one as we can see it has one phase one task one phase one task of course by the way it's very easy to um, you know I can here add environment like that and from here let's have an empty environment and from here I can add another environment it's very easy or I can even clone the environment not just and when I clone we can see that one phase one task so I have uh, that environment so me delete that as well so I created three environment and with each environment one phase one task so let's see what exactly inside of that so I can go here and navigate between the tasks for each environment so let's go for the QA here I use this this release task which is having this configuration again it's part of, of this tool extension So here, uh, the VSTS market connection. So first, I need to, to connect my VSTS with um, a service hook to the marketplace. And in order to do that, in order to, uh, to configure uh, the service hooks, I just need to click on manage. And this will open the service hooks. And as we can see, I connected to that and I call DevOps QA just with token with active token and I connect it to that so to just give you again I, I I just put any name here and here I just take this token I create a token a personal token because I need a permission so I can deploy that so how I can deploy that if I don't have the permission so I just create this connection once I have that I start linking that here so and i put here the vsx file and to pick the file from here and as we can see here i just put here well this is uh, the pre-production the production so as we can see here i just change the account so if we go here for we can see that i change the account here if we go here we can see that so the publisher is different in each account and also I share here I share here with the QE environment but here I share with the pre-production and here I share with the production environment so I share that with with each based on which publisher ID so once I configure all of that then I'm ready to release um, so let me start by uh, we make this is continuous integration right we need no, just save without Q and then let's check the code I changed that already right to 12 let's see here it's 11 
here is still 11 here 11 okay let's check my code changes so add build full to h1 and then sync that with the master branch this should be trigger the build automatically as we can see the build in progress now and it's build number 11 so I can see now that the build here it's waiting for an agent to start the build and once the agent is acquired it will start building the application uh, creating the package and publish the package so the build succeed and the published and this build number 11 right also let me show you here this is number 10 right so QA if I go for production it's 10 and if I go for account production it's 10 as well so I didn't make the release management automatically so let's start the release management of course I can make the release management automatically triggered approved from different stage and but I like to make it uh, with approval and we're doing that by I come here and put approves by me and the same for here if you go here it's approved by me of course I can come here and start deleting that for example and as we can see once it deleted and save you know it doesn't require any approval all of that and this will make it automatically promoted from one environment to another so I will not save that so let's trigger the deployment which again I can trigger that automatically after the build completed so again we still here have build 11 here 11 let me refresh this is a QA this is the pre-production and this is the production so let me now trigger the release so here just create the release which triggers the release it is the same as the build it will just start triggering the first environment as we can see now but of course it stopped waiting for my approval and I receive an email let me show you so it's like email like that so deployment release to QA is bending your approval so I will receive this email because it's just waiting my approval then I just go for here and say click approve so it is okay which again you know make this build de deploy to the QA environment so the QA team can test this application once I approve that this will deploying the application here and of course deploying mean <coughs> uh, publishing the the package into this account and this publish ID using this publish ID which is the QA so now we can see that 
to publish successfully and it deploying to the QA and it waiting for my approval to the next environment. So let me approve that. Go, go, and this will pop deploy that to the pre-production. And let's see that. So here, build 11. This should be changed to build 12 with a new modification. It's either bug fix or new feature. So as we can see, this is build 12. And if we refresh that, because it's still not published yet, so we, we can see that it's still build 11 because the but here in QA it's build 12. Still in progress. It succeeded to deploy to the pre-production. Let me approve that. We are ready. So again, of course, with before the approval, there is a lot of process like your user acceptance testing, verification, you know, all of this. But just to and of course, if I refresh that, this is the pre-production. But here in the production, we still have 11. So now we approve the production deployment and we should receive now the production, uh, the last modification. No. Sorry. Here. Now it deployed to the production. And if I refresh that, Now we have the new updates in the production environment account and publish ID. So we saw an end-to-end -end, uh, continuous delivery pipeline using VSTS extension, using build and release management with VSTS. I would like to thank you for watching the video. And please, if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, here is my blog. Thank you.